First, at noon, two people have died after a car crash near Braintree High School. Police say a sedan and a pickup truck collided, killing both people in that car. The crash created issues for parents and students as well. Arriving at school early this morning, WBZ's Michelle Fisher has more on what people who live nearby the scene of the crash heard and saw. This afternoon, the road is back open to traffic, but here along Granite Street, there are still signs of this double fatal accident, a strong odor of gasoline in the air, broken glass, and debris. I hear boom, and then I wet up, I see like that. The black car over the ground in there, inside the, inside the street. This was the scene just after four this morning. A mangled car in the woods along Granite Street. Police say the sedan and a white pickup truck somehow collided as the vehicles traveled in opposite directions. Too many accidents died there. No, nobody stopped. While police investigated, traffic and school buses heading into nearby Braintree High were diverted. The road was closed for four hours. That's how one neighbor knew this crash was more serious than others he's seen. Usually, accident over there, about one hour, that's it. Everything clear. For Yao Tran, who has lived on the street for almost 20 years, the crash hits close to home in more ways than one. One time, my wife sparked the car, and I ready to turn left, go with the house. Boom! Total lock the car, too. One of the men in the sedan was pronounced dead at the scene. A second male was pronounced dead at the hospital. The driver of the white pickup truck, police say, was transported with non-life-threatening injuries. Right now, police say they are working to notify next of kin. The cause of this crash is still under investigation. Reporting in Braintree, I'm Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.